we're going to go through how to restore to an older copy of the component. So right now we're online, we're controlling, we're equal, and amazingly we have I.O. equality basically because we have no I.O. on Fieldbus. Otherwise we'd have multiple I.O. equality questions. So we've gone through and we've got to this state, but to do this we had to erase all of our placeholders and we want to get those back, but I don't want to spend the hours it took to add those and then tie them into the logic. So I'm just going to go and close this out. I'm going to come over here now that I've got T1 still checked out. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to CMS and I'm going to say, hey, let's view the history. And I'm going to go here and go back to this version 8, which I know is a good version because at that point I'd added an app state and uh, I'd tied in the PFFAIO. So I know everything was configured there. Um, I know this because when I checked it in, I put the comments in to let me know. I could also look at the date and time and know that, okay, this was the date and time when we were had this all happy and everything was configured. So we've selected this and with it checked out, it gives us the option to revert. So we're going to select revert and we get this new feature that's saying, hey, you can't revert because of all these FF project issues, which are all field bus. So this is an added feature that you get with field bus where it doesn't let you roll back or revert. So what we're going to have to do here is basically do this a different way. And how we do this is by closing out, we're going to undo our checkout and it's going to warn us that, hey, you're going to lose your data. You're going to lose the changes, which is what we're trying to do anyway. And we're going to say, yes, no problem. Now we're going to come here and we're going to go CMS, view history. And now we're going to go ahead and get this, not revert, but get this. And we'll see here that it's going to pull it in because it lets us know that it's going to pull it in of version 8. And when we close it is when it actually pulls it over. Now we'll see that we have the local copy out of date. We don't want to get latest at this point. We want to go ahead and double click and say, yes, we want to check it out with this old version. It's going to let us now use this version where the revert failed. So let's let this open up. Now I've got it open. We want to go ahead and go online. And we should see our status here as really unhappy. Yep, major difference because we have an older version and we can go to our hardware and see it's unhappy, but it's got all of our devices configured that we already added in. So now let's see if we can build this and try to revert. Either way, if we revert, we're going to have to reboot the controller. So we have to make sure that we're in a safe state to do that with the equipment in the plant. In this case, it's just the controller. And this would basically be when we are doing early versions of the software or we're first bringing up the panel. It's probably not going to be something you're going to do to an operating plant, but I can see where it could happen possibly. Now we've done our build. We're going to check our warnings. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and download. And it's going to warn us several places that want to reboot. First, we have the warnings down here. It's telling us, hey, we have to reboot because the major revision on the controller is not the same as the minor revision. And then we're also going to get these warnings here in the download box that says, hey, we're downloading the application code, but it's going to reboot. And you'll see that almost every card is going to have to get its parameters and reboot to sync back up, with the exception of the PFFAs. They're not going to accept anything right now. So we're going to go through and download, and it's going to warn us again that this will shut down the selected controllers. I want to pay attention to all these warnings, even though there's a lot of them and they seem repetitious. We always want to pay attention when we're clicking those next buttons. And so now it's going to go through. It's not going to do the normal where it downloads one controller and the other. It knows we're rebooting. So it's going to do both of them at the same time. Now, if we go and check our status, we'll see that the controller is going through its reboot. 
and we're just going to have to wait on that. Now we're just going to wait on the rest of the I.O. to come back up. Now that we have the controllers controlling and the equal, we should see one by one these cards start reporting as they go through their boot up process. Now we didn't really download to our PFFAs yet. So we're going to have to download again once I see the rest of my I.O. come back. Now most of my I.O. is back with except the exception of this PFFA. So I'm going to be used to the PFFAs always wanting to have issues. So I'm going to download to them again. And I'm going to go ahead and select these for full downloads anyway. And I want to give them a full schedule download because I've changed the full schedule download. I've changed the scheduling of these. I've added placeholders. I've changed which ones are where. So. Okay, so now we've gone through our download and we're gonna come back and see that, hey, all of our errors have cleared. So now we are reverted back and we can come up here to the top and go view diagnostics and refresh and reset. And everyone's nice and happy and we reverted back our copy.